Praise the Lord, people throughout the world, man, woman, boys, and girls. We're coming with another song. The Rock, our God. The Rock, our God. Amen. That's the song we're coming with. The Rock, our God. Our God is a rock. We want to give you some information, praise God, and then read your scripture from the word of God. Amen. Who is the way, the truth, and the life? Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one coming to God the Father but through him. All right. So we encourage everyone out there to believe in Jesus Christ. And this is the end of the world. Praise God. Matthew chapter 24, Matthew chapter 25. When you see all these things happening throughout the world, know that this is the end. Praise God. Amen. Uh, when you see Israel, the olive tree budded again. Bless them. Praise God. And now they bear fruit and fruit is full. Praise God. Because they've been in the land for 70 years. They just celebrate their 70, uh, 70th year of independence. Praise God. All right. Uh, in Jeremiah, you have to read it for yourself, the book of Jeremiah, in which God warned his people um, to take heed, listen, uh, turn back to him from falsehood, false religion and, and, and deception, false belief. And so if they, and they didn't, so they end up 70 years in captivity under Babylonian captivity and the Persian captivity. But now they are in their land for 70 years. So you know that's a sign. Praise God. Amen. After 2,000 years. All right, people throughout the world, men, one, boys and girls, want to encourage everyone that heaven is real, hell is real. Praise God. And we want to go to heaven. We don't want to go to hell. It's terrible. A lot of people have near that experience, and they see the terribleness of hell. And terrible, terrible people down there burning, torturing. Millions of people down there. Demons torturing them. They burn in torment, and yet demons is tor torturing them more. A lot of people that believe in Jesus Christ, I said there was Christian that live in double lives. When they die, they end up in hell. Mm, we have to live for the Lord. Help us, Lord, to live pure for you. We want to go to heaven. And then uh, some have near that experience, they see the beauty of heaven. Uh -huh. And some, the Lord tore through heaven and they see the beauty of heaven. And, they, and Jesus Christ tore them through hell. Uh, so they see the horror of hell uh -huh. and the lake of fire. And Jesus want them to tell us on earth, warn us on earth, so that we take heed and give our life to him. People throughout the world, John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to God the Father but through him. No one go to heaven but through Jesus Christ. Uh, Acts chapter 4, verse 12. There is no other name under heaven given, up, given among men whereby we shall be saved but Jesus Christ. He's the only, our only Savior. He's our only ch uh, chance. Praise God. Choice. So choose Jesus Christ for everlasting life. All right. Uh, so I want you to check out... Um, uh, um, some messages that the Lord sent recently by his messengers. They're blowing the trumpet, warning us. Praise God to give our life to Christ. This is the end time. This is time to do it. But there's scripture that you need to look at beside um, Matthew chapter 24 and Matthew chapter 25. You got to read for yourself. Praise God. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 50 and on there. We're at the last trump. Praise God. We shall be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. Praise God. God going to give us new body, those that believe in him and living for him. Ah, it's not just uh, lip service. We have to live for him. We have to fight to live for him. Praise God. Uh, President Trump's name is written in bold scripture. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and chapter 5. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Uh, the trump of God shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall rise. And we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. So his name, Trump, is written in the Bible, those two places, at the end of the world. So you know this is the end of the world. So uh, you know this is a, a sign, praise God, with Lord bless us with the president, uh, who is for the Bible and biblical standard and preachers and preaching the word and living for Jesus and... Uh, and because under our previous um, president, who was who was not supposed to be president, Obama, the Antichrist, who born over there in Kenya, because the great the grandmother said she was there when he was born. So if he born in Kenya, he was not supposed to be a president because the president have to be born in the fifty um, 
one of the 50th states. So he tricked us that he was born in Hawaii. Um, but anyway, he banned Christianity and everything that was God-like. And he pushed every anti-God thing, everything that's anti-God. Read it for yourself. The man of sin, son of perdition, man of lawlessness. We call him the Antichrist. The Bible also call him the beast. Uh, destroy a trillion, trillion times worse than Hitler. Mm. Uh, Second Thessalonians, read about him. Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Uh -huh. He will be here when Christ come back. And he's here, Obama, ready to come back. Uh -huh. He continue his mess behind the, the, um, behind the scene with the Democrat, fighting and standing against God and everything that um, biblical. Mm, that try to destroy this country and this nation and the world. Try to bring in a new world order. B don't you take that mark. Don't you take that mark of the beast. Don't you take that RFID chip, that microchip in your body. Don't you love Obama and them, Hillary and, and, and Oprah and all, all these people, Illuminati, Freemason, Bilderberg. Don't you join up with lodges uh, and sororities. You children in college, get out of sororities. All those are um, cults or cults. Leave you, end up in hell. Mm, people throughout the world. Uh, Jesus said, Matthew chapter 7, read it for yourself. Uh, Abroad is the road that leadeth to destruction, and many is that going that way. But narrow, straight and narrow is the road that leadeth to life. Only few that find it. Praise God. Um, so make sure uh, you find Jesus Christ and live for him. Hold on to Jesus Christ. Praise God. We have some um, YouTube that we want you to check out. And the messages, uh, yes. I put it on Facebook too, but YouTube are very accessible. Praise God. We want you to check out the YouTube 23 Minutes in Hell by Bill Wees. Praise God. Make sure you watch that. Uh -huh. That man break it down. Uh, the Lord show him, tore him through hell and see the horror of hell. 23 Minutes in Hell. 23 Minutes in Hell. Watch it for yourself by Bill Wees. Uh, how about Princess Diana, Gaddafi, Michael Jackson, smokers, prostitute? Pastors in hell. Make sure you watch that. Even pastors in hell. Oh, a lot of people, they think uh, they, they, they're doing God a favor by preaching and ministering their own doctrine instead of the word of God. And, and you, when you watch that, you'll realize, uh, I think there was a pastor that was in hell for not paying tithes. Thought it wasn't relevant for the time. We must probably, how is the, um, the work of God is going to um, be done if we don't financially um, be committed to it? Um, so we have to give and pay, and pay our tithes. Go to church, serve the Lord. Mm, people, hell is horrible beyond words. Ah, oh, Lord. How about this one? But how, heaven is so beautiful. Uh, mansions made of gold, streets of gold. Uh, the new Jerusalem made of transparent gold. Uh, the, 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 the landscape is so beautiful. Uh, the flowers is singing. Everything is alive in heaven. The tree of life, the, 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 the water of life. Praise God. Uh, watch um, Greatest Heaven Visit Testimony. Uh, greatest Heaven Visit Testimony. You have to watch that. Uh, the Greatest Heaven Visit Testimony. Praise God. Well, you can re read all about it in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Praise God. And all in between there. All right. Uh, how about uh, the Lake of Fire? Uh, hell, uh, there's something worse than hell. The lake called the Lake of Fire. That's where Satan going to be burned forever and ever. And he's... And then demonic uh, de demons and angels and, s and devils and the beasts, Obama and all of them, false prophet, they said he's the Pope. The false prophet is a religious, well-known religious leader that said he's tell everyone that it's okay to go along with the beast. No, don't you take that microchip, don't you take the chip in your body, don't you take the mark in your body, or your arm or your forehead or anywhere there, but love Jesus Christ. Uh -huh, praise God. So the, um, the Lord showed this man the lake of fire. Robert Smith, you have to watch it on YouTube. Robert Smith, Lake Hell and Lake of Fire Testimony. Robert Smith, Hell and Lake of Fire Testimony. That's Robert Smith, Hell and Lake of Fire Testimony. Praise God. Terrible. Uh, he said it, a trillion, trillions times worse than hell. Uh, he's there to punish Satan forever. Death, death and hell, all of them going to be cast into the lake of fire. That's the final death. Uh, yes. Um, uh, make sure you ha watch these. A lot of them will be coming up. Um, uh, Angelica Zambrano, Heaven and Hell Testimony. How about this one? Divine Revelation of Heaven, Divine Revelation of Hell by Mary Kay Boxer. 
Uh, here's another one. Heaven is Real, Hell is Real by Jane Cora. Oh, we have so many of them. Uh, so make sure you watch them, praise God, and learn and give your life to Jesus Christ. Uh, he's the way, the truth, and the life. Praise God. Uh, read your Bible, go to church, praise God. Try to do good. Uh, live uh, uh, holy as much as possible. The Holy Spirit will guide you. All right, so um, some recent YouTube that we watch, praise God, we want you to uh, hear to also. A Muslim died and, and saw Muhammad in hell. Make sure you watch that. A Muslim died and saw Muhammad in hell. Yes. Yeah, and watch, uh, watch. Uh, there's another. Um, there's a lot of them about a Muslim um, giving their life to Christ. Praise God. Uh, make sure you watch those. And, and there's a there's a YouTube. I believe the name of it is is called uh, a young man. He was a Muslim. He gave his life to Christ, and he says, uh, Islam. Islam is the worst lie. And, this, and Islam is a deceiver. Uh, you, you need to watch those um, YouTube with the Muslim uh, that describes uh, when they get out of Islam. Yeah. The man said uh, Islam is a terrorist. And Muslims should get out of Islam. All right, make sure you watch um, a Muslim died and saw Muhammad in hell. And, and he give a lot of testimony. He's, uh, a lot of um, Muslim is just dropping into hell. Uh, they blowing up themselves, killing themselves, and killing others, and end up in hell, thinking they're going to get hundreds of virgins. No, you get the opposite. Trillions of, of torture and burning forever. All right. So uh, here's another one. YouTube, Escape from Hell. Ex-radical Muslim. Uh, testimony escape from hell ex -ra radical muslim testimony please go all right uh -huh. and we also must not forget african american must give their life to christ they gave so much um in this country and everyone of different ethnicity and different culture must respect african american um, praise god us a african american of uh who contribute so much to this country and who's bought the back uh, bear this country. And some of the, um, uh, if you watch the movie Hidden Figure, African-American uh, contrib contribution to space. Uh, here's another um, movie, Something the Lord Made, African-American contribution to medicine. And that's just one or a few, please God. All right, uh, YouTube. My own encounter with Lucifer and Satan. And and that's by uh, Cherish Missionary Church TV. Uh, everyone must need, must watch uh, Emmanuel TV by T.B. Joshua, Prophet T.B. Joshua, great man of God. And pray along with him. Um, uh, break them curse and deception and devils. Praise God and, and all what they're trying to do to your life. Emmanuel TV. Another one is... Uh, Prophet um, J.B. McAnaneza, and that's Cherish TV. Uh, another one is John Chibway. Praise God. Watch these powerful men of God. Yes. Uh, and pray along with them. Break the curse and drive away devils and demons. Uh, here's, another, you, here's a YouTube that I watched recently. Science confirmed the Bible. Science confirmed the Bible. Science confirmed the Bible. Watch that YouTube. The Bible show us the uh, show us the history of all things, evolution uh, is and evolution and Darwinism is false from the pit of hell, from from Satan developed from Satan. Uh, God created the heaven and earth and created us, male and female. God's word is true from Genesis to Revelation. All right, praise God. Um, make sure you read Ezekiel 30, chapter 30 to 33. Talk about God's judgment on Satan and, and the land, especially Africa during that time. And all Africa must turn to God and all nations of the world. All right, here's a recent YouTube. 
Uh, you have to watch this one to ex uh, so you can understand what's happening now. Uh, Illuminati exposed Satanism in music industry. Illuminati exposed and called on Satanism in music industry. Illuminati exposed Satanism in music industry. Make sure you watch that by Ima Emmanuel TV. Here's another one uh, you need to watch. Make sure you watch this. Shows how uh, devils and demons is, we, even though we are physically in this world, there's a spiritual world around us where demons and devils fighting to try to destroy us and drag us to hell. And the spirit, an angel of God and the spirit of God, the word of God, Jesus Christ himself is working hard to keep us from going to hell. And hopefully we will open our eyes and believe and live for him so we can go to heaven. Watch this YouTube, the most extraordinary confession you may ever heard by Emmanuel TV. The most extraordinary confession you may ever heard. Watch it on YouTube. The most extraordinary confession you may ever heard. Praise God. Make sure you watch these. Praise God. Amen. Powerful, powerful. Praise God. All right, let's give you some more information here now. The tragic, the tragic truth is most young people and most Americans have very little idea how truly evil Planned, Parent, Planned Parenthood is. Yeah. Uh, that's the uh, company that um, kills children, uh, abortion. Planned Parenthood really is. For example, you may have probably seen news reported of the undercover investigation uh, videos by the Center for Medical Progress that reveal Planned Parenthood's horrific baby internal organ harvesting business. And to think this evil organization received $550 million in taxpayers' funds last year. Can you believe it? Getting money from the government and killing babies and harvesting and selling their organs and torture. These are torture. Uh, these are horrific, uh, inhumani inhumane, uh, ungodly uh, uh, hurt. Perhaps you have even seen some of these horrific videos. These videos reveal that the babies are being cut apart while their hearts are still beating and feet still kicking as they are being born or even after they are born alive then these babies heart livers lungs brains eyes other body parts and tissues are being auctioned off to higher bi highest bidders this has become a hu a huge business for Planned Parenthood this is pure evil and we could read more but we'll stop right there my that's pure evil exactly all right let's touch on something else what else we got here? Want to open your eyes to? The censoring of Christian and conservative beliefs is accelerating at a rapid pace. Consider this from just the past few weeks. Facebook banned Frank Franklin Graham over a post from 2016 before finally relenting and restoring Graham's page only after there was a great public outcry. We have the rights, more so this country was birthed on biblical value, values. Christianity which, is, Christianity, which is why God bless us so much, bless, bless America, Jamaica, and all these Christian nations, and give us knowledge to do good. <coughs> mm, this is wrong, what, what they're doing. Here's Apple permanently remove an app from a Christian group designed to help those struggling with issues of faith and homosexuality after less than 500 people signed a petition of complaint. Uh, how about the millions, I believe, in, in uh, Christianity and um and, and, and faith and how to address homosexuality because it's one of the uh, 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 one of the, the undetestable sin uh, that de destroy and hurt people individually 
group and a family and a nation and the world. Drag people into hell. Come on. The music and audio platform Spotify recently removed all the content by PragerU, an organization that creates very popular online presentation outlining a conservative worldview because the content did not comply with ethical editorial um, policy. The CEO of PayPal has just admitted that the widely used online payment service relies on the Christian group for information when blocking, blacklisting certain groups and individuals. You see, they're trying to blacklist. Here, is, here it is. Shadow banning is the process of allowing online users to post content, content but make that content undiscoverable. The net effect is that the user thinks their content is available, but in reality, their content is effectively hidden. Stop doing this to Christian and people of faith. And this is wrong. And rebuke that spirit in Jesus' name. All right, we have some more here. What we're going to address here now? Amen. Because we want to bring in this song, The Rock of God. Uh, the rock, our God, praise God. We build these amazing apartments for Holocaust survivors. Praise God. The people that Hitler um, burn in the oven over there and kill off, uh, what's that? Uh, Six million Jews or more. Eleven million people, World War Two. Come on. A uh, trillion times worse than Hitler is here, Obama, the Antichrist. Uh, having these FEMA camp um, guillotine to cut our head off if we don't believe and take the mark of the beast. Don't rather die and go to heaven, people. And don't you take, because if whoever take that mark or that chip in their body, they cannot be saved. It turned into a zombie. Uh, uh, recently, I mean, they have it known here now, but in the Bible it says you cannot be saved. How can a zombie person that out of their mind accept Jesus Christ? No, they out of their mind. They're demonic possessed. Mm, so um, the Bible confirmed that. So don't you take that um, chip. Don't you love Obama and them? Uh, so... Um, the Holocaust, some of these survivors are still alive, and they're going through hardship. Even though it's been almost 75 years since the end of the Holocaust, the physical and emotional s scars remain. Most of these who did survive Hitler's attempt to exterminate the Jewish people have no, l have no living relatives to help care for them in their old age. That is why we step forward and create these beautiful apartments as a very tangible expression of Christianity, Christian love for God's chosen people. But yeah, we must still respect the Jewish people because God loved them. They're still apple of God's eye, seed of Abraham, praise God. And Abraham said, uh, God promised Abraham in Genesis chapter 12 and on there that um, uh, through his seed, the, na the families of the earth are going to be blessed. And so the whole world is blessed now through the seed of Abraham, which is Jesus Christ, a uh, promise one. Uh, um, the great prophet Moses uh, tell the Jewish people that there's going to be someone come after uh, some like, someone like him and they must listen to him, a prophet like him. And Jesus Christ is prophet, priest, and king. He's God himself. Praise God. All right, so um, here's now to the Middle East. The children of Damascus in the Middle East, there, uh, where ISIS, uh, these people are called ISIS, Muslim, um, um, is with their Islamic, uh, satanic, devilish, um, destructive ways ravage the place and kill uh, and hurt a lot of Christians. You know, they, so many of them end up in hell. Thank God for President Trump and his general. A um, lot of them got massacred uh, in, in hell right now by the bounds, leap and bounds. Despite they raped the woman and, and pilvered the place and with children. Here it is. The children of Damascus are being ravaged with hunger in the cross hairs of war. Children with wrinkled face from hunger lay in the street while the government blocks humanitarian aid as a tr uh, T -A -C, tactic of war. It is estimated that there are some 400,000 people in eastern Damascus without enough food, fuel, medicine. Patients with empty stomach and kidney failure are dying.
We have here people who are only eating a meal every two or three days. Wow. Yeah. It is, it's seeing the devastating hunger and starvation we, uh, sweeping across eastern Damascus and so on. It's Christian group here, tr they try to make the difference. It was a dangerous mission. Uh, they're bringing in food. Christian um, people uh, from America and the world. Uh, it's, a, it's a dangerous mission. Armed military roadblocks has been strategically positioned to stop our convoy of relief once we hit the ground. The Russian military support us with armed air aircraft to make sure that the food and medicine got to the suffering refugees. Praise God for Russia and helping there. But when we saw how these children suffered, I knew I must give the rest of my life to send in aid and relief to these innocent victims. Praise God. Yes. So that's Christians making a difference. Hungry, hungry is not s satisfied with one meal. Peace for the persecuted must, uh, praise God, uh, we must follow, go forward, even increase helping emergency spiritual and humanitarian relief in this region. So um, as Christian people and group, and uh, we are helping, praise God. Uh, other information, praise God, before we bring on this song. Um, communism didn't die when the Berlin Wall fell and the Soviet Union imploded, broken up within. And you might be surprised to learn where it makes making a comeback. Can you believe it? Obama and all of them bringing, trying to bring socialist communism to America and the Democrat, Democrat and all of them. They need to stop it. And I hope you understand why I need your uh, uh, immediate help to understand. It's a di disturbing fact that our annual report on U.S. attitude towards collectivism, collectivism, all right, 52% of American millennials, these young people, would prefer to live in a socialist. 46 are communist, 6% con country, rather than in a capital, capitalist, 40%. Capitalist is where you have the freedom and being able to invest. Uh -huh. and, and communist, socialist, is where the government to, uh, is they, they want to be God in your life and they kill you if you stand up and they try and they suppress the truth and the Bible biblical and Christianity uh, wake up uh, young people and people of America uh, let's work with President Trump praise God and support um, Trump for 2020 praise God it's shocking that the most fortunate young people in all of world history would rather live under socialism or com communism than in a free country you know why? Because they're telling these people, uh, these young people in school, that communism is all right. Islam is okay. It's a religion of peace. No. Mm. Islam is, re is religion of death and hell. Uh, a socialist, communist is destructive. Uh, take away all your rights. Come on, wake up people. 26% of Americans have never been taught about communism in any educational or professional setting. See, they haven't been ta taught about communism in educational and professional se setting. This is an outrageous and, tra and tragic in indictment of our nation's school system, given that m murderous communist regime dominate much of the 20th century, 20th century, and far too many have continued into the 21st. Millions of people die under communism. Fully two-thirds of all American underestimate the number of people killed by communism. Over 100 million in the 20th century alone have been killed by communism. Socialist communism have killed over 100 million people. Come on, people. The dramatic shift in attitude among the American public has encouraged many young people political leaders to openly announce that they are dem democratic communists, socialists. Can you believe it? I rebuke that in Jesus' name. 
In fact, one avowed socialist backed by many senior leaders in Congress proposed a Green New Deal that promised a total government takeover of health care, a government uh, guaranteed job, free college or trade school for life, uh, government guarantee affordable housing for all, and a guarantee income of those unwilling to work. Socialism is back with a vengeance, my friend, and it is trying to gain a foothold in America. Rebuke that in Jesus' name. United States and its allies wage uh, wages a four-decade struggle in the 20th century to vanquish the Soviet Union and its militant communist ideology in the Cold War. The values of Ju Judeo Christian Western civilization, biblical standard, the dignity of the individual, the limit of the state, the necessity of private property and free enterprise, and the freedom to believe and act according to one's conscience. We, we were pitted against a godless Marxist despot, despot, despot D -I -S -T -O -P -I -A, dystopia, where the state was supreme and the individual disposable, a mere member of collection collective. The victory of the free world in that content demonstrate the superior superiority of free society societies over totalitarian collectivism in all its form. When we won in World War II and also the fall and, and crumbling of the Soviet Union. But with the passing of generations, these lessons must be learned. Wow. Each year we host national seminar for high school educators. We give teachers three days of in-depth lectures, presentation, and discussion from our factual faculty and, get, and guest speakers, many of whom are first-hand witness and survivors of communist regime. You see? Yes. We have to highlight, we have to let these people know, um, praise God, that communist, communist, so socialist is of the devil. Today's leaders on the left openly campaign as the anti-American party, the common, this, uh, Democrat, Democrats, anti-American party. And here's from the New York, New York governor, Andrew. Kumo, quote, we are not going to make America great again. It was never that great. And that was August 15, 2018. Can you believe it? Here's another one. Deputy Chairman of the De Democrat Democratic National Committee, Attorney General of Minnesota, Keith Ellison, quote, I don't believe in borders, unquote. So you don't believe in, in uh, you want people just intrude, intrude and mess up your country, and that's what we see here in America. No, that's a lie. That's from the devil, trying to destroy America and the world. Here's another one. Quote: For the first time in my adult life, I am proud of my country. Unquote. That's that Michelle Obama, supposed to be the wife of the Antichrist, who they are, and and February 18, 2008 after her husband won the Iowa caucus on the way to winning the presidency. said, I'm the first, for the first time in my adult life, I am proud of my country. Uh, no, you're not proud. You just want to destroy. That's all you all did for over, over eight years, destroy this country and let all kind of um, terrorists and terrorism and drug to destroy the African-American life. Uh -huh. And you're all supposed to be African-American uh, and all the rest of this country and trying to destroy Christianity and push homosexuality which destroy individual group families and nations and the world because homosexuality over a few decades ago was a sickness all right here's another one quote I was amazed I was I w really was I didn't I didn't say anything to anybody I just watched the Republicans were out there. They were having a great time. 
The Republican was, Republicans were out there. They were having a great time. They were laughing. They were waving the f American flag. I thought that was outrageous behavior. I really did, unquote. And this is from Republican, uh, this is from Democrat uh, Representative Maxine Walters. It's from the Democrat, one of the number one Trump haters, President Trump haters. Uh -huh. African American must not forget that Repu the Republican Party was put together to free the slave. Watch the recent um, president, um, the movie, uh, our president that um, dismantled um, the, 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 the slavery. Praise God. You need to watch that. Uh -huh. That's our president uh, there. Watch the movie. Uh, um, I forget our president name. I pray that it come to so I can remind you. We already know the movie. Uh, the president, uh, Lincoln, President Lincoln. Watch the movie, um, President Lincoln. The recent Lincoln movie. You see how hard that man worked and the, and the uh, American people, both European American uh -huh, and, and those uh, African American and African slaves, they work hard to free um, the slave and to bring freedom. And and here here you have African American Maxine Walters that want to bring you all back into slavery and this country and destroy. And that's what they did. Nothing o nothing less over the ten years Obama link linking up with Obama, the Antichrist. Uh, the the African American community went backwards hum uh, so much hundred percent. Today. Today's liberal Democrats are no longer like Harry Truman and JFK. JFK was a strong patriotic, patriot, patriot and anti-communist. Ronald Reagan started as a Democrat. He left the Democrat Party because the Democrat Congress and President were already swinging too far left. And crooked. I didn't leave the Democrat Party the Democrat Party left me, said Ronald Reagan. So many of today's Democrat, Democrat Congress and other elected officials are far more radical than in the days of Ronald Reagan. Uh, they far left and destructive. Obama set the anti-American tone for his party. The anti-American rhetoric and tone of today, today's Democrat Party was set by Obama. Barack Hussein Obama, the Antichrist, the beast. He just wants America to fall so that he can take over uh, and eliminate so many that don't want to take his mark. The RFI, RFID chip, microchip. Don't you all take no chip? Don't you take the mark of the beast? You cannot be saved if you do. If, they, if you have to be starved or if they kill you, you go straight to heaven. <coughs> Obama, destroyer. He was constantly apologetic about America while on overseas trips. He's famously described the U.S. Constitution as having deep flaws and added that America's founding father, fathers had an enormous blind spot. When they wrote the Constitution, Obama said our Constitution reflects the, the fundamental flaw of this country that continues to this day. We hate America, trying to destroy America. So we actually had a, a president in o o Barack Hussein Obama who openly attacked the U.S. even though he took an oath as president to follow and protect the Constitution. He destroyed, destroyed the Constitution, the way of America and the world, the truth and the Bible and God's way. In fact, Obama told us that he was out to fundamentally transform America. How can you love your country if you, your goal is to fundamentally to transform it from good to bad, from biblical way to Satan way, from heaven to hell? Let me stop right there, praise God. It's no longer that liberals just have some different policies. They have moved hard left and, and literally seem to want to destroy America. Do you hear that, people? Wake up, President Trump. Make sure you all put President Trump for 2020. All right, we're going to get to the song now. Praise God, for God is good. Here's the name of the song, The Rock 
are a God. Praise God. All right, before we bring this song, we give you some information already, praise God, but let's give you the truth, praise God, from the Word of God, between Genesis and Revelation. And we are at 1 Corinthians chapter 12. We normally read a, chap a, ver uh, a chapter, praise God, from the Word of God. And here it is, praise God, that's 1 Corinthians um, chapter 12. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignore, ignorant. He know that he were Gentiles, non-Jews, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as he were led. Wherefore, give you, wherefore I give you to understand that no man speak, speaking by the Spirit of God call Jesus a accursed and that no man can say that Jesus is is the Lord but by the, the Holy Spirit 1st Corinthians chapter 12 verse 4 now these are diversities of gifts now there rather are diversities of gifts but the same spirit and there are different of administrations but the same Lord and there are diversities of operations but it is the same God which worketh all in all verse 7 1st Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7 but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit all to profit with all for to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom and to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit to another the working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirits to a, to other to another diversities diverse kinds of tongues to an, to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these work it that one and the self same spirit, dividing so every man severally as he will. But all these work it that one and the self same spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. Verse 12, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12. For as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one Spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? But now has God set the members, every one of them, in the body, as it hath pleased him. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are they many members, yet but one body. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee. Nor give, nor again the, the head to the foot, I have no need of you. Nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are are necessary and does mem and those members of the body which we think to be less honorable upon these we bestow more abundant honor and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness 
for our comely parts have no need. But God has tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked, that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it, or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now he are the body of Christ and members in particular. And God has set some in the church, first apostles, secondary prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of, of, land, of tongues. Are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles, have all the gifts of healing? Do all, do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret, but covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet show I unto you a more excellent way. Praise God. Read it for yourself. Praise God. First uh, Corinthians chapter 12. All right, now let's get to the song. The Rock, Our God. Praise God. <laughs> Let's worship Jesus Christ, the King, all glorious above. Can we gratefully sing of all His power and His love? She, the ancient of days, magnificent in splendor and glory. Let us worship Jesus Christ the King, our Lord above. Can we gratefully sing of all His power and His love? For she, the Defender, the Ancient of Things, is girded in magnificent splendor and girded in refrain. Can we sing it one more time? Keep it the world, one more boys and girls. Let us worship Jesus Christ the King. Our glorious above. Can we gratefully sing of all his power and his love? In splendor and girded with praise, is girded with praise. Hallelujah, worthy to be praised. In the kingdom of the Lord, Jesus Christ is here. Praise God. Let's get to the song. He is rock. He is rock, our God. Amen. Throughout the world, man, woman, boys, and girls. Mm. Who is the rock? Who is God but Lord God? I said, Who is rock? Who is God but Lord God? One more time. Who is the rock? Who is Lord God but God? And His name is worthy to be praised. Christ Jesus is the rock of our salvation. Who can never be moved? The Bible, God's God. word, from Genesis to Revelation. Forever is true. God Father is our rock. So Jesus Christ is Lord God. God the Father is the rock. So Jesus Christ is Lord God. One more time. God the Father is the rock. So Jesus Christ is Lord God. Rock of ages. Jesus is our rock. He's the rock of ages. One more time. Christ Jesus is our rock. He's the rock of ages. His love for us will never stop. He's the rock of ages. His love 
little tiny worm wherever you hunt. Christ Jesus is the rock to love you and not hide and stop. Christ Jesus is the rock to love you and not hide and stop. How about this one? Christ Jesus is the rock. He loves us a lot. Christ Jesus is the rock. He loves us a lot. All right, how about this one? Christ Jesus is the rock. He loves you wherever you are. Christ Jesus is the rock. He loves you wherever you are. How about this one? Christ Jesus is the rock. He loves you around the clock. Christ Jesus is the rock. He loves you around the clock. One more. Mm -hmm. Christ Jesus is the rock. Never be much. Come on. Christ Jesus is the rock. Love for us can never be much. Rock of ages. Christ Jesus is our rock. He's the rock of ages. His love for us will never stop. He's the rock of ages. Love will pain wherever you are. Christ Jesus is the rock. He loves you and I like you don't stop. No. Christ Jesus is the rock. He loves you and I like you don't stop. All right, I'm gonna break it down for you people. No. People throughout the world, man, one boys and girls. In Jamaica, we call it DJ style. The way the DJ take a hold and talk. Praise God. The way the song is written. When the world grab a hold of it, they get a taste of it, they call it rap. They develop their own. And after which they develop their own called hip hop. But here is where it comes from. People, people, let's stand on the rock. People, people, lean on the rock. People, people, let's sit on the rock. People, people, let's depend on the rock. You won't forget that Jesus Christ is the rock. He never moved. He never cried. Jesus Christ loves us non-stop. Whether you are slim or fat, Jesus Christ loves you when you're slim or fat. He loves you whether you're slim or fat. Whether your skin is pale, brown, thin, and black. Jesus loves you from head, toes, and all of that. Stop, back up, front and back up. Let's stand on the rock. Stand on the rock. I said, people, people, let's stand on the rock. People, people, let's lean on the rock. Rock of ages. Christ Jesus is our rock. He's the rock of ages. His love was from my heart. He's the rock of ages. Love you find you wherever you want. Christ Jesus is the rock. Love you and I will stop. Christ Jesus is the rock. He loves us a lot. Christ Jesus is the rock. He loves you find you wherever you at. Christ Jesus is the rock. Love you and I will stop. Christ Jesus is the rock. Alright people, 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 people. We need to run through the song one more time. Now who is the rock? Who is God but Lord God? One more time. Who is the rock? Who is God but Lord God? And whose name is worthy to be praised. Christ Jesus is the rock of our salvation. Who can never be moved? The Bible God is worthy. This is a revelation, but forever is true. God the Father is the rock, so Jesus Christ is Lord God. God the Father is the rock, so Jesus Christ is Lord God. Rock of ages, Christ Jesus is our rock. I said, He's the rock of ages, Christ Jesus is our rock. Rock of ages, His love for us will never. People, people, let's stand on the rock. 
People, people, let's lean on the roof. People, people, let's sit on the roof. People, people, let's depend on the roof. Don't you forget Jesus Christ is the roof. Don't ever move. He never heard. Jesus Christ loves us. When one star, whether you're so slim or fat, when your skin is pale, brown to the black, from top to head, all of us, from the top of your head to the toe, where you're at, top to bottom.